Hello, beautiful. I'm just gonna show you guys pretty much what I do if I do go out and wear makeup. That's what we're gonna do. Let's just get into it. As you already can tell, my eyebrows are done. I also do my lashes myself. So this is what my eyelashes are looking like. You guys would like a tutorial type of thing on how I do my lashes like this, just let me know and I will gladly film them for you. I just wanted to get those two things out of the way. Anyways, let's get into it. My skincare. It's already done. If you guys have not seen my morning skincare routine, I will leave it over here. Also, I'll leave it up in like the little cards thing and in the description below if you would like to go check it out. Now I'm going to prime my face. Uh, I've been loving this Dior Forever Backstage Face and Body Primer. So I'm just putting some like on my hand and I'm going to just apply this all over my face. I like this one because I feel like it makes it a little bit more dewy. I have been loving the look of a very dewy and natural skin finish. Next, I'm gonna be using my Chanel. It's just like a sheer healthy glow highlighting fluid. I love to, I just put some pumps on my hand and I put this all over my face. I'm all about looking like I have some kind of healthy glow to my skin. Next, I'm gonna go right into my SPF slash Super Serum Skin Tint by Ilia. I saw Miss Bieber doing this where she kind of put her foundation in her hand and used a brush and then that's how she applied her foundation, which honestly makes sense because at that point, I know this is dark, but it blends into the skin, so don't even worry about it. But I'm gonna use this brush and just kind of buff this all into my skin. Putting this on your hand, you don't really have like pores in your hand, so you're not gonna have the product going anywhere, anywhere crazy at least, so. And it's easy to just wipe out of your hand. This is what it looks like pretty much after I have blended out my foundation. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. This is in the color Sand. I'm just going to be applying it like this, just because the underneath of my eyes, I feel like is always just, it's always dark. I'm into a tiny bit on my forehead, as well as my chin, and my brow my nose and by my lip. Now I'm just gonna take this beauty blender right here and I'm just going to blend this all out. Next, I'm gonna be using my Dior Backstage Eye Palette. This one's in the Coral Neutrals, but it just got really pretty natural like colors into it. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be just using this Morphe X Ariel brush. I don't even know which one this one is, the number. A29 and I'm gonna go in with like this champagne like shimmer color right here I'm just gonna be placing this on my eyelid just to add a cute little shimmer to my eyelids So I don't look like dull Because I want to feel just a little bit of sparkle. I love just a little bit of sparkle For eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this Fenty Beauty in the color brown and I've been loving brown liners just because I feel like it just looks so much prettier on my skin and I guess this one is just like kind of like my go-to but I am gonna wing it out a little bit I don't know if you can see that it's just like ever so slightly winged out that's what I love about brown eyeliner too is just because it's not so harsh and so it just kind of like flows in with my skin I feel like a whole lot more and I'm just going to drag that in probably about halfway down my eye and then I'm gonna pull it up a little and I'm going to smudge it out. To smudge out my eyeliner, I'm just gonna use this flat top brush right here and I'm just going to obviously, like I said, just smudge it. So <laughs> I just whistled through my teeth. I'm just going to smudge it just so it doesn't seem as harsh. And then I will do that to both eyes. It just kind of makes my eyelashes look a little bit thicker too. And I just feel like it looks really pretty on. Okay, I'm going to contour my face a little bit and I'm gonna be using this Milk Makeup Baked Stick. And this one is in the color, I don't know, the lighter color. And with this, I just put it above my cheekbone and then I'll put it on my forehead like that. And then I'm gonna be using this Refi brush and we're just going to 
blend this into the skin. This is pretty much what it's looking like. Again, I like it when it's like super natural. It doesn't look like I'm wearing too much makeup, but it does look like, oh, like she looks nice and youthful and not dead. So <laughs> that's what I've really been doing. But I do like that. It looks like this. Next, we're moving on to my favorite part, which is blush. I use this Refi blush in the color Citrine. Hopefully I am pronouncing that right. But on the other side of this Refi brush, I'm gonna be using it and just adding some color back into my face. So I'll go here and just start adding blush where it is needed because I feel like it just adds so much. Um, I also bring it up into my concealer a little bit just because I feel like it helps to eliminate like if you have like a really ashy looking or it looks too stark white up there. I don't know or I don't know. It just I feel like it looks so much better if you just bring it up. I don't like using full on blush in my concealer by my under eyes, but I do like using it like this. Now that my blush is added, my, I'm going in with my next favorite thing. So you guys probably can't tell, but I do have freckles all over like in this area. I don't know if you can even tell anymore. Also don't, don't even look at that pimple. There are some, some freckles over in this region. We are gonna add freckles right back in. I'm using in the shade two, the freckles by freckles and you're supposed to like shake it up. I already did, but just so you guys can shake it up. I need to get more of this actually. And then I'm gonna take it out. It comes on this cute little brush thing, but I don't like too much excess. So it comes on like this type of brush right here. And I'm gonna use a bobby pin just cause I found that that's probably the easiest for me at least. And I'm just going to flick these freckles back into my face. And then I'm gonna just use a beauty blender and just kind of tap it in, just so they're kind of sitting in there. And then I don't like when my freckles are on my lip, so I like to make sure that those ones are like pat in. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be adding in my highlighter. I use the Refi highlighter. I just found that it's probably the best and most natural looking for my skin. I just pop a little bit on the back of my hand and honestly, this is like too much but I'm gonna use my finger, kind of dab it into my skin a little bit so I kind of warm it up with my fingers. And then I'm gonna add this all over wherever I would naturally see the sun hitting on my face. I genuinely, I, I go ham. It's probably one of my favorite products by Refi. I think that this is probably, uh, it's just so beautiful and it just makes you look like you're just awake and in your natural element. And I'm gonna add on my nose. Last, but certainly not least is my lips. I actually just picked these up recently. It's from Mented. I'm gonna be using this dark brown lip liner in the color M5. And then over the top, I'm gonna be using this Coalition. It's by Mented as well, but it's just a non super like sticky or tacky lip gloss. I'm the type of girl who kind of prefers more matte over a gloss, but I do really like that lip gloss just over the top, just to add a little bit of juiciness to the lips. And I'm just gonna overline just a little. And I genuinely love this color. I think it's super pretty. After that's on, I'm just gonna take, again, just a little bit of this lip gloss, and I love the color. And I'm just gonna apply it like that. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that is my finished makeup tutorial. This is, again, I don't wear this every day, but this is definitely my go-to for if I am leaving the house, but I still want to look put together, dewy, pretty, lively. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like getting ready with me. I am just going to fix my hair and pretty much head out, but I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you guys would like to be part of the family. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.